Our second World Forum focused on the opportunities and challenges, complexities and tensions in achieving a more rapid transition to a low-carbon mobility future. Over 150 participants, including former heads of state, regulators, business leaders and leading scholars, came together over a couple of days to share, debate, test and create new ideas for a more rapid transition. The forum demonstrated that progress has been made in certain areas, for example, the developments of electric vehicle technology. But it also showed that technological progress in itself was not enough and that people are still grabbing at parts of a holistic and complex set of challenges and proposing solutions that don't fit together. One decides where you want to be heading. What is the eventual goal? I think uh, the climate scientists, the scientific community in general, has established that. Um, then, then you have to realize it can't, you can't suddenly snap your fingers. These are major things that affect people's lives. How do you actually get the right policies that encourage people to be inventive, to encourage the right investments in businesses? All right, that's the end goal, but uh, there's this big chasm in between. One can be a fisherman or a farmer, a professor or a politician, manufacturer or retailer, producer or consumer, or a passionate environmentalist. Our interests, in essence, are the same. It, it is timely principally because we've got very little time to get this all done. So although we're talking about defossilizing over the next 40 years, the process really requires us to begin now. We can do a lot in transportation. However, there are no silver bullet solution in this area. And that's why we're very grateful that our leading thinkers and global decision makers came together in Oxford uh, to talk about a vision for low carbon mobility for the year 2050 and about the actions we have to take over the next decade to make this work. The, I, I think of the Smith School potentially as the um, environment and enterprise equivalent of the Kennedy School for Government, where you're creating a center of excellence where multidisciplinary thinking, including politics, including policy, including science and technology, can come together. And I think it all depends on the quality of the faculty and it depends on the quality of the work. But I think the people who are leading it, obviously the David King playing a very powerful role, and the mission of the, the school, it could play a material role in leading the thinking on enterprise and environment. Well, the transition to a low-carbon future requires change, so many changes. It requires changes in behavior. It requires changes in policy design. It requires communication. It requires changes in investment. And so the role of a university program, so, such as a Smith School, is to help on all those fronts. I think where the Smith School um, stands alone, for, in my experience, is um, is the reality check with the commercial part of the business, you know, and as, as, uh, as designers, um, that's what we have to do as well. You'll never get any kind of approach to a solution to the climate conundrum without the full-blooded engagement of big business, because it's the big businesses that uh, provide transport, uh, provide power, provide the, the backbone of the kind of modern lives we all enjoy. Uh, the presentation from Mikhail Gorbachev was, uh, was not only important in be having the iconic figure of the 20th century there, but Gorbachev represents the possibility of change. And I hope that the future, even though there are voices saying that our Earth may not have the future, and that instills uh, fear. What Gorbachev emphasised was the importance of political figures with courage and vision but we are at a point where we could achieve a stable and sustainable world for future generations if only we have the will to do so. So effectively, the future is in our hands. Discussions at the forum highlighted that the opportunities and challenges in achieving a more rapid transition to a low carbon mobility future remain significant. Following on from the forum, the Smith School will initiate a futures program focused on the low carbon mobility transition challenges. Over the next two years, we'll continue to bring together leading scholars, business leaders and regulators and others to learn with the future and identify the opportunities to enable a more rapid transition to low carbon mobility.